What's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with a, another Falcons fan coming. I'm not going to say the guy's name, but if you guys can see, um, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, Wayne Garman, uh, Gallman is a good pass protector. He hits the holes with authority and power. Watch his tape. Arthur Smith wants big physical backs to wear down the defense. I understand his playing. Quadri Olison really messed up on that play. He should have scored on... Um, the Browns, instead of taking the defense uh, defensive back head on, he hit the out. He hit it outside, and we didn't score on that drive. He should have ran that DB over and fought through contact. Watch Gallman tape. He's a part of a rotation, not to be a savior. Absolutely amazing comment. Um, to kind of add to that, uh, when you look at Quadri Olison. Um, I think he's one of the guys, when you look at his physical statue, you just say, okay, this dude can really do something. But when you look at him from a football and a coach standpoint, he has a lot of issues um, uh, with his technique, and that's for, first and foremost. And one thing, when you talk about, um, you know, running backs and heading on, head on with linebackers. Linebackers are those guys who thrive off leverage. They thrive off you being able you know to keep you upright and one thing that the Falcons have doing have been doing in, in training camp is trying to you know change the way Quadri Olison runs and this is one of the things um if not the biggest thing reason why the Falcons have cut him all right they've been trying to change his running style and at this point I don't think the Falcons are in uh, a uh, I guess a a development stage as far as their running backs concerned i don't think they're patient all right i only did honestly don't think they're patient with their running backs at this point in time and they need guys that's going to step up and immediately be impact players and they don't have to worry about issues with fumbling and, and whatnot I, I remember early i believe it was his rookie year. it could have been his second year but his rookie year where he did lose a fumble um he did get the ball back. The Falcons did get the ball back. But those are the things that we're talking about with big, tall running backs right there, the technique issues. So when you run it against the linebacker, the shorter linebackers, fast, quick linebackers, you know, even defensive end, these guys are going to consistently have their hand on the ball and they're going to um, – they're going to poke it out. You know, four year, a guy like four-year-old Lacoon, he's going to punch that son of a gun. You see them doing against Ezekiel Elliott. So when you talk about the technique issues um, of running backs, Quadri Olison, without question, does have technique issues. And uh, quite frankly, um, this is a great comment. I'm going to add to that. Um, I totally agree with the fact, as you said, that instead of him – going head on with that that db he bounced it outside and he didn't um score the touchdown so i think that's the mentality when you talk about um arthur smith um that could have been the case but i would like to see him physically dominate and physically punish a lot of these dbs so let me know what you guys think about this this is an excellent comment you guys continue to leave your analysis on every move right i'm going to try my best we're going to try our best to keep up with a lot of this news on um, a lot of a lot of the news concerning the atlanta falcons and some you know you maybe get some some news around the nfc south as well so let me know what you guys think about this this has been yet another great falcons fan comment all right your boy man mike is out man